continues now with a look at how a dramatic increase in the price of EpiPens is affecting those who need them right here at home. News Channel 6's Ann Maxwell joining us now with that story. Hey Brad, EpiPens now cost four and a half times more than they did just a few years ago, which is causing financial strain and even putting people's lives on the line. Severe allergies can be deadly if you don't have an EpiPen on hand, so their soaring prices are having serious effects. I've had people turn them down in the past month just because they can't afford them. For me, my allergy is bad enough that I cannot take that risk. Since last October, Shell Berry's EpiPens for her and her daughter have gone up from around $400 to around $600. But she has insurance, which has kept her copay at around $100. But for those who don't have insurance, it could be much more expensive. I had a patient that had to go to the ER last night, got an EpiPen prescription called in, does not have commercial insurance, had to pay out of pocket. Coupon was not valid for anyone who did not have insurance. You had to have commercial insurance to use the coupon. So she had to pay out of pocket the full cost. EpiPens expire around every 12 months, which means you have to keep restocking them. And most people with allergies need to have a few of them on hand. So you really want to have one at home, one at school, one in a travel bag, um, so that if ever you're in the situation where you're questioning whether your child is having an anaphylaxis reaction, they, can't, they don't know what's going on, but you may, um, you want to have that ready to use immediately, um, which requires having several of them, which is expensive. Very expensive. For some, that's just not an option. They have to choose. They're going to risk it and hope that they don't come into contact with something that causes an anaphylactic reaction, or are they going to find the $400 or $500 to pay for it? EpiPens work by delivering a jolt of the hormone epinephrine, which is better known as adrenaline, which can reverse the life threatening effects of anaphylactic shock. But EpiPens reportedly contain only about $1 worth of epinephrine. Kim? 